today I want to talk about design, but not design as we usually think about it. I want to talk about what is happening now in our scientific biotechnological culture, where for really the first time in history, we have the power to design bodies, to design animal bodies, to design human bodies, whereby we are actually now intentionally designing and altering the physiological forms that inhabit our planet. Now, we actually have been doing it for a long time. Um, we started selectively breeding animals many, many uh, thousands of years ago. And if you think of dogs, for example, dogs are now intentionally designed creatures. There isn't a dog on this earth that's a natural creature. Dogs are the result of selectively breeding traits that we like. This is a beefalo. A beefalo is a buffalo-cattle hybrid. And they are now making them, and someday, perhaps pretty soon, you will have beefalo patties in your local supermarket. This is a geep, a goat-sheep hybrid. This is a comma. A comma is a camel-llama hybrid created to try to get the hardiness of a camel with some of the uh, personality traits of a llama. And they are now using these in certain cultures. Then there's the liger. This is the largest cat in the world, the lion-tiger hybrid. It's bigger than a tiger. And in the case of the liger, there actually have been one or two that have been seen in the wild. But um, these were created by scientists using both selective breeding and genetic technology. And then finally, everybody's favorite, the Zors. None of this is photoshopped. These are real creatures. And so one of the things we have been doing is using genetic enhancement or genetic manipulation of sort of normal selective breeding pushed a little bit through genetics. And if that were all this was about, then it would be an interesting thing. But something much, much more uh, powerful is happening now.